Good evening everybody, hope everybody is well. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you ever so much for joining. We've got 13 people in the chat already, which is amazing. So who have we got tonight? We've got Doom, Shane, Welfare, Jamie, Ratspit, Scott, Jan, uh, Mavs Fam, Doom and Insomniac. So hello everybody, thank you ever so much for joining. Right, so before we jump into these spotlights, check out this scene created by Insomniac. Let's uh, just come out of there. Let's hide that HUD. Let's just have a quick look around the scene because it's so good. So who have we got? We've got uh, Reptile and Liu Kang down here. Liu Kang throwing fireballs at Molina. You've got Baraka just stood at the back there. You've got Scorpion. Get over here! Hello, KR. Yeah, you joined just as I, I finished saying hello to everybody. Um, you've got Reptile being murdered there. Oh dear. <laughs> So grim. You've got a uh, Raiden. You got another Scorpion in the background. Who have we got at the top? We've got Reptile, who's actually spitting his poison. You got Goro. Another Melina and Liu Kang at the back. That's so good. And then you've got Baraka just holding somebody's head. Oh, that is so good. I love that scene. Fatality. That's incredible. And then we've just got a uh, decapitated head. Over here, you've got Scorpio and uh, Sub Zero thrown on the spikes. That's incredible. What a scene. And then just look at the font at the back. Is that done using basic shapes? Yeah, just using the basic shapes look. Wow, that's amazing. Right, anyway, so uh, today's parks, we need to. Let's just exit to the main menu a second. Because I need to be able to read the descriptions. No, it wasn't very family friendly, was it? Not really, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? Uh, right. So, the first park we're going to have a look at today is Gulpy World, created by MavsFam4. So, we've got two parks to spotlight. My idea is that I'm going to do a live stream every Wednesday, I think. I know today's Thursday. I'm aware of that. But every Wednesday, I'm going to do a live stream. I'm going to try and do a couple of spotlights in a live stream just to start trying to work through this backlog of parks. Oh, look at Lord of the Rings in third. And then we've got Raven Bloodspires on the top front page as well. That's coming tomorrow for a premiere. Uh, we've got Wicked Wonderland by No Mercy Mustang. That's coming soon. Little Europe Park. I'm doing that in a couple of weeks. Uh, what else? We've got Eden Springs. That's crap. I wouldn't bother looking at that one. Oh, Tika Falls is back on there. Oh, nice. And Bridgman's Tika Falls. So, yeah. Right. Uh, let's find it. Oh, that needs an update. Let's update that while I'm there. Uh, where are we? Da -ba -da -ba -bum. Park Deco. That's not the one. Gulpy World. There we go. Right. So, the description reads... In this world, one drinks brand reigns supreme. Welcome to Gulpy World. Enjoy six coasters created by Tommy Leeds 23 or aka Tommy P for use within four Gulpy related areas. Soda City, Slushy Sands, E Sector and Fructus Fru, Fructus Forest. I need to be careful saying that. This park started life as a collab between myself and Tommy P. Why is collab blanked out? Really? But was abandoned in favour of a redo which was abandoned in favour of a different concept, Carlton Park. I revived this park file and simply asked Tommy P if he would contribute some coasters for me to place and decorate. Why have I just lost where I was? There you go. Uh, this is the end result of an old idea, finally making its way to the pixels you'll see inside. Enjoy. So, let's load this up, shall we? No, that's the wrong one, Matty. Right, where are we? Oh, it was just there, wasn't it? There we go. Right, so with the exception of getting the thumbnail shots, I haven't really looked at these parks very much, so I'm not sure where I'm going or anything like that. We'll see when we get in there. Right. Wow, look at the size of that car park. Holy crap. Wow. Right, so uh, where's the main entrance? So the main entrance must be through this building here, and then... Where are we going? We'll go this way around. Yeah, not too big a park. Not too big a park. So let's get down to the main entrance, shall we? Which is down here. Here we go. Down we go. Right, so here we are at the park entrance. 
You know I'm going to have to go and check inside because of course I am. So employees only. That must be a staff room in there. Yeah, a little staff room there. We've got a gulpy machine straight away. We've got a reception, which is a block of toilets. Oh, that is cool. So it looks like where they make the gulpy drink. Right, so gulpy world. Let's turn left, shall we? I like how you've taken one of the drinks and really expanded it into an entire park. Water feature. I can see another water feature in the background. Waterfall, very nice. So we have Slushy Sands. Let's have a look up here, shall we? I like the use of the wall coming alongside here. And then you've got the car park just over there. Hello, Morvid. Welcome to the chat. Thank you for joining. Hello, everybody who's catching up who didn't catch the live stream as well. Thank you ever so much for watching when you're catching up. I love this. So, oh, I was supposed to say slush of fear. Slush of fear? Turn your minds to slush. <laughs> Hi, hey, Mr. Antonio. Thank you for joining, mate. That's really nice skin ride. Just with the colouring, the blue and the pink. Got some more shops down here. We've got a go-kart down at the bottom. Oh, I like how the sand comes over the side. Because, obviously, this is the slushy sands. So, we've got the sand that just kind of, like, comes over. I would have expanded that idea a little bit more, if I was honest. And maybe just had a little bit more sand coming down the side here. Make it not so straight. We've got the medals there. So the first ride of this spotlight is going to be a go-kart, which is unusual. The park is a colouring masterpiece. Yeah, it's really a treat for the eyes, isn't it? So much to see. So we've got the entrance just here. Right. Come back, guys. Come back. See, I can't cut this out when I'm doing it live. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. We're waiting. How many laps are you doing? Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Come on, 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 come on. So this is Mavs Fan 4. So I've spotlighted a couple of his parks before. There we go. I could have closed and put in test, but oh well, never mind. Bit late now. Right, that's it. Park up. Get off. Get off. Hello, pigeon. Um, you're going to get hit there. There you go. Fly away! Yeah, this one is definitely a family-friendly park. Unlike Carlton Park, which was not so family-friendly. Stop! Right. Let's go. Let's go a bit further back. There we go. Right, so let's go for a ride on this. really nice layout i enjoyed that i like the figure of eight layout that you've got almost reminds me of suzuka <clears throat> the formula one track from japan just that figure of eight layout nice coloring all the way around uh, some nice theming just with the little buildings and then the palm trees around and then you've got all the sand dunes and everything yeah really nice little ride i enjoyed that so yeah there is a code to drive the go-kart yourself i can't remember what it is Got a block of toilets just in here. 
you really have kind of like carried on that theming with the colour all the way around. So you've got the purple on the blue doors for the toilets. Yeah, it does work on console as well. I just can't remember what you have to type. Um, I know that you can do it though. I remember that Isaac's done it. I'm sure he's done it at some point. I just can't remember what it is that you have to type. So we've got some more food and drinks just outside here. And then we have Gulpies Rexorant. Very nice. Bar Grill Smoke and Chill. It's Bollard. All right, okay. This is a nice building. Oh, I like this. No, the premiere is tomorrow, Sausage Yeah, that's a really nice building. I like the differing layers of it. That pigeon just flew into the window. We have the cigar lounge. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, you've turned that into a little play area. Just around the side. So somewhere for the kiddies. We've got a slide. Oh, that looks well fun. Yeah, cool. And we have the blue slush guazi. I love it when people try and say things that I can't say. And that should probably work in time for your spotlight as well, Emtos Jack. About 15 minutes. Because this isn't a massive park. I love this queue line. Just with these coverings, just using the wooden beams and the scavola going around it. I really like that. Oh, it's a ride at Bush Gardens. Oh, okay. There you go. Learn something new every day. Right. And um, what have we got here then? So, we have a uh, hybrid steel track malish on lease. So, an uh, RMC. Let's have a look at the stats. Green across the board. Let's pause it just while they're sat on the station. Uh, really nice G-forces as well. So, let's go for a ride on this. There we go. Let's put it on front bumper. So, there we go. First ride. Well, first coaster. Let's do it. Enjoy. Great first coaster. Yeah, I really like that. Let me just sort these sounds out. Uh, I forgot to turn them down. I need to adjust them for live streams and I forgot to do it. There you go. 60 for live streams, 84 spotlights. Um, yeah, great coaster. Really enjoyed it. I like the theming. I think it was really smooth throughout. I think the only thing I would have done maybe is just extend that brake run slightly. Uh, because it did come round quite quick. I would have had the brake run just coming all the way around that final corner but other than that really nice ride very brightly themed very unfitting with the theme of the park yep great ride and that was by tommy p so that wasn't by mavs fam that was one of the rides that tommy well tommy p did all the rides in the park but then mavs fam did all the theming you got this tree house just up here and then that actually goes off to the smoking lounge up here or the cigar lounge should i say Oh, the interior's done as well. A little tiny interior. Hello, Bear-tastic. How are you doing, my friend? Wow. Planko royalty himself. Lovely to have you here. Right. Oh, 
let's come back down here and let's carry on shall we so we come into the next area which is the e sector i love how you've used the gulpy sign to make the s drink a gulpy energy and unchain your inner gargoyle so, nice little building just to the left so a block of toilets yeah nice little toilet block Oh, I like the look of this coaster here. It looks like the Smiler. Oh, that looks fantastic. <laughs> no, really, e gulpy actor. <laughs> we have a food court over here. Hello, Craig. Thank you ever so much for joining. So many people in the chat. Lovely to see you all here. I am going to be doing a live stream, hopefully every wednesday now trying to do a trying, trying to get a couple of spotlights done just trying to catch up on the backlog that i've got at the moment i've still got spotlights that are requested in august august september time so i really do need to kind of like start kind of catching back up on them i think i've got about 30 requests now oh look at this hang on a second what i want to do wait there mr janitor dominic stubbs wait there I want to put you into clip cam. There you go. Just so we can uh, do a little bit of zooming in while we're studying. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Yeah, live stream should be easy and no, record, uh, no recording and editing required. It just means that I've got to actually be entertaining for an entire live stream and try and not make too many mistakes and trying to keep control of these yahoos as well. Which is harder than you would think. Normally chaos ensures whenever I do live streams. Because these lot can't behave themselves. That is fantastic. I love the theming of it. It looks really smooth. I am proper looking forward to going on that. I think we might try and leave that till the very end. You are being really good actually Ratspit. I am I'm quite impressed. I'm not going to lie. It's quite calm and collected at the moment. You find these so hard to create in game. I, I think I've only ever created the one, which was Wasp's Nest. And I think it had G-forces of eight. It was before I really understood the game, to be honest. And yeah, it most likely killed people. Hey, Lyric. Thank you ever so much for joining, mate. Hope you're well. I like what you've done with the floor, just breaking it up ever so slightly. So we've got the, almost like the pavement here. And then you've got these other different types of slabs. And then the pavement slabs. Just really breaks up that pathing a little bit. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. I like that. I love this. I really do like this. Really do. It looks so impressive. We are definitely going to save that till the very end. That's going to be the highlight of the park, I believe. So, Fructose Forest. <laughs> I have to be so careful reading that. I'm going to get myself demonetized. Um, you asked Tommy for a smile and inspired tangle of a coaster and he gave me that masterpiece. It truly is. It's, it's sensational. I can't wait to go on it. Really excited to go on that ride. I mean, this one looks quite good. This one looks really good. Is it a launched coaster? I think. Hang on, I'll have a look when I get there. So we have a Flavor Hunt. I love that font. That sign that you've done. That's fantastic. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> a sneeze mid conversation. I would have muted myself, but it literally just snuck up on me. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, the signs are fantastic. So, I like the open feel of this station. So, we have Gulpy. Let me try and see if I can get what type of coaster it is. Um, it is a launched vector. See, I said a launch vector. I really am learning. Wow, I'm, I'm getting so much better with these coaster knowledge. Anyway, let's have a look at the stats. Green across the board. 
Uh, G-Force is really nice as well. So let's go for another ride on a coaster. Hello, Albrus. Thank you ever so much for joining. I hope you're well. Right, let's find the right coaster. That is the one. Let's go on front bumper. Speed it up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Right, enjoy. What a great coaster again. That was fantastic. Hang on, where am I? There I am. Don't worry, I found myself. Yeah, really nice coaster. Very compact. That's impressive how you've managed to get a launch vector into that area and make it feel so well integrated. Great job with the foliage around there. I maybe would have just put a little bit of slight elevation change in there, possibly. Because as it was going around, the, the terrain in there is a little bit on the flat side, so I maybe would have just done a little bit more there with the terrain. But other than that, the coast itself was fantastic. Super smooth, really engaging and entertaining from start to finish. So yeah, great job. So many more people have come in. Who have we got now? So we have uh, Stephen Coaster World. Hello, thank you ever so much for joining, buddy. We've got Planet Plip Cam. Wow, how are you doing, Plip? Not spoke to you in ages, mate. We've got Becky in as well. So thank you ever so much for joining. Oh, it's really nice to see you, Plip. I haven't actually seen or spoke to you for what feels like forever. Right, so we've got... Uh, I, how have you managed to get that so differently themed? That's amazing. I always think that... I can never remember what these rides are called. The G Genie. Go figure. <laughs> but I always think that the Genies are very theme-specific. Very much always in the like arabian tunisian kind of feel but you've you've taken it and really integrated into the park really well with the custom gulpy just at the top here using using basic shapes which is amazing by the way yeah that's fantastic really like that and this is mavs fan 4 park uh albrus but the coasters were done by tommy p so all the theming is by Mavsfam, and then the coasters all by Tommy P. So what have we got here? We have the Energy Crash. These fonts are fantastic. Every single one is so well done. I mean, Mavsfam is one of the masters of signs on the PlayStation. And a t-shirt now, thanks to Chrissy's comments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, and Mavs Fam and um, Boz Midget Slayer are always the masters of the signs on the PlayStation. And Mavs just proving it in this park why he is rated so highly with these custom fonts and custom billboards and things like that. I've missed something at the back, haven't I? Do I? There we go. There we go. Let's carry on down here, shall we? I like the theming around the park. It's not overdone. It's quite simple, but it's effective in its simplicity. It feels quite authentic. It doesn't feel like an over-budget park. It feels like kind of just the type of place that you would come for maybe like four or five hours. It's not an entire day trip type of place. We have the Dizzy Vex. So a little flat ride just there. And I believe if we carry on coming around here, I think we've got one more coaster around here. I think. Might be a flat ride. I'm not sure. Hey, Corvus. Thank you ever so much for joining, mate. 
We have Gulps Eatery. So there's a queue line there for the flat ride. Oh, I might have been wrong. There isn't a coaster back here. I'm sorry. So, Water's Edge. Aptly named because it's right next to the giant lake. The colouring to match. I'm happy because it's got a giant lake. Like it. Love it. Where's this fish thing come from? I think I need this explaining to me, guys. Yeah, I've been seeing you doing it in the Discord all day. You keep doing fish emojis. Where's this come from all of a sudden? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit clueless, I'm afraid. Somebody needs to uh, fill me in as to what's going on with the fish emojis. I'm definitely missing something. Well, I like this interior. Something smells a little bit fishy. Oh dear. And here we go with the fish puns. It was so funny, you just had it to be there. <laughs> don't, don't start laughing, Chrissy. Don't. Don't. It's the place to be. It's not my place to laugh. Oh dear. Oh, Chrissy said it's not her place to laugh. Oh dear, dear, dear. Commence the fish puns. Right, so we've got one more coaster there. We've got a B&M dive coaster over there by the looks of it. Oh, they now want you to come into the chat, Chris. Chrissy is not allowed in the chat because whenever Chrissy comes in is when chaos ensures. She's the worst one. Oh, good cod almighty. <laughs> oh, no. And so it begins. Well, to be fair, what time are we on? Half past seven. We went for half an hour, to be honest, didn't we? Right. For every tree, we chop down gulpy plants to new trees. Oh, that's nice, I mean. Well done, gulpy. Right, so we have Tiki Cheeky Cheeky Tiki. Oh my god. Right, let's come up this queue line. I love that name. Tiki Cheeky Cheeky Tiki. Right, so. Oh, is that the same ride as the other one? Is it uh, Vacoma again? I oh, know this is the crazy one, Looney Tunes. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Green across the board once again. Really nice G-forces once again. So let's go for a ride on this. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Right. So let's go for a ride. Enjoy. Thank you, Corvus, and SNS Al Loco. Another really enjoyable coaster. Again, really compact once again. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I think these may be some of Tommy P's best coasters, if I'm honest. I think they're really good. I really enjoyed it. Felt very smooth, kept up a nice rhythm, momentum all the way around, some nice inversions on it. Yeah, great job. Right, what have we got down here? So that goes to the... Uh, that zone that I'm not going to say again in case I get demonetized. So we've got two more coasters left to go on. So if we come around here, we've got a carousel just around here. And if we carry on around, you may now be able to hear the dog who's fast asleep, but like going woo, woo, in his sleep. That was a terrible impression. You get what I mean? Eat and meet Gulpy Rex, Meal House. 
And we've just got a little eatery just inside there. With a gulpy Rex just there. That coaster was fantastic. That was bad. That was bad. Right. You should be ashamed. We have the Soda Spin. Which is another flat ride over here. The use of the colours in this park. I think that's one of my favourite things of the entire park. Is just the clever use of the colours. And just getting them to all complement each other so well. We have Gulplivian. Gulplivian. Because it's like oblivion. I got it. I got it. Right, so enjoy a drop of gulpy. Let's have a walk down this queue, shall we? Nice little queue path. Nicely themed all the way around here. This feels like I should be looking at it at night. Hang on. It feels like it'd look really good at night, that queue. Hang on. Right, let's swap it. Yeah, it does look good at night. Oh, really ambient at night. Is that the drop? Oh my god, it is as well. So the queue line actually goes round the drop. Oh, that's fantastic. I want to see it come past now. It's going to go past so fast, you're barely going to see it. Come on. Oh no, okay, it comes up. Okay, I thought it was the drop. Right. Right, let's have a look at the stats for Gulplivian. So again, green across the board, consistent throughout the park. Again, the G-forces are really good again. Yeah, all the all the rides so far in the park have been green across the board. And oh, spoiler alert. And really good G-forces. Uh, let's go seat five. There we go. Right, and we'll have a talk as we go up. Oh, we won't have a talk because I'll take a swig of my drink instead. I have got a Fanta, by the way. I've got a Fanta because, of course, I have. I don't have a ham sandwich though today. But right, here we go. Enjoy. Absolutely fantastic again. I really enjoyed that. That drop going through the path there and then coming up through the queue line was absolutely incredible. So good. Really, really enjoyed that. I think the only thing I would say is maybe just extend that brake run again uh, because it does come into the station a little bit too fast. So just extend the brake run round maybe to about there-ish. Something like that, but just so it comes in a little bit slower. But other than that, amazing, loved it. Now, we did miss this flat ride over here, didn't we? Let's just have a quick look at this before we go on the Smiler-inspired ride. So we have a Cityscape. I've never seen anyone use them to that effect. That works really well, very clever. I like that. Uh, percentage is 91%. So, not 100% park. I believe... Oh, we've got a museum tour. Oh, what is that? Let's hide the hood. Hey, Hash. Hope you're well, mate. What is a museum tour? There's a queue line for something? It's a people mover. So we have a dark ride people mover. So two spotlights in a row where we've got a dark ride people mover. Let's go for a ride on this. 
I don't know which way to put the camera for this. There you go, let's do it like that. So the Gold P33Z power generator. Gold Persona launched in 2016, quickly becoming... Oh, do you know what? I'll come back and read these after. Yeah, I, I've got... I kind of got that afterwards. Uh, maps. I think I'll come through and read it. Oh, I like that. Got some gargoyles just there. A little part of me wonders if this ride would have been better. Instead of it being a people mover, uh, one of them... I can't remember what they're called. One of... One of them. Not quick draw. Is it a quick draw? Or is it one of them? The one's like kind of where you go through and it stops. And then you can look at everything. I'm wondering if maybe that would have been potentially better. Because it could have then like kind of gone through quite slowly. And like kind of stopped and turned and looked at the things. But really nice ride. I want to go around and actually read it. So the Gold, P -E, uh, Gold P33Z power generator... Gold Persona launched in 2016, quickly becoming a leading brand. The success led to a new drink, aptly named Gold Persona, uh, Gold P Slush. The Gullab <laughs> Gullab <Bowl> Soda Machine. <laughs> oh, I love that. <clears throat> the icy cooling effect of Slush, with its bold and refreshing taste, became a global phenomenon. Bananaman. Bananaman. Whatever. Gulpy Rex. I can't, I can't say Bananaman. Leave me alone. The gullible slushy machine. Then came a huge discovery within the ground of the Gulpy factory. An ancient ruins buried and lost to time, containing hundreds of gargoyles, producing a force we were able to contain and convert to create the world's favourite energy drink, Gulpy Energy. With a grip on the drink market, Gulpy used the brand success to give back our consumers, opening our part, Gulpy World. And then you've just got the, the various Gulpy branding just going down the side. Yeah, that's fantastic. Really like that. You've got some gargoyles just there. You've got a, a gargoyle just picked up on the magnet. <laughs> the Gargulator 3000, the energy extractor. I love seeing people's imagination with stuff like this. But that is my favourite, the gullible energy machine. I think that's fantastic. I love that. And then you've got loads of gulpy cans. And drink a gulpy energy and unchain your inner gargoyle. And then you've just got an exit sign there. Oh, I've never seen anyone use that before. Putting one of them signs in the floor. Nah, I, can't, I can't grab it because it's on the floor, but... Yeah. I love that. Right, let's pop it back today. And let's come back down here. And we'll go towards the Smile inspired ride, which I think is called Gargoyle. Oh, hang on, we've got another coaster here. So we've still got two more coasters to go on. So we've got a Mac spinning coaster. I think I've just said that right. Corvus, is it a Mac spinning coaster? Right, uh, which one is this? Love the theming around here, just with the foliage. Yeah, really nice. Oh, I was right. Yay! So we have the Wild Wild Rex. Oh my days, look at them! Oh, wow! Oh, they are fantastic. I want to see how many each one is. Made up of 80 pieces. That is amazing. I love that. Makes me think of M. Bridgman's um, River Rapids that he built. Because he built the River Rapids, didn't he? And then Angry Emerald built the custom log flumes in Molten Manor 
I love seeing it when people do these. And then Tommy P created a uh, coaster as well. I love it when I see people do them. But right, let's have a look at this Mac Family Spinning Coaster. So I'm aiming for green across the board here, like all the other ones. Oh, no, it's not quite green across the board, but the chief forces are really good. I kind of get the feeling there may be too many cars on this. Hang on. There we go. Right, let's go for a ride. Enjoy. So far, I would actually put an argument forward that that was my favourite ride of the park. I think that was really, really well done. Because spinning coasters are so difficult to get right. Because of, of you haven't just got to think about them being smooth and the layout. But you've got to think about the spinning element of it. And I think you absolutely smashed it. I think that was really well done. Now, I'm saying the favourite ride of the park so far because I've got a feeling that the Smiler-inspired ride is going to absolutely blow that out of the water. But let's hop out the exit, which is just there. We've got what looks like almost like a little McDonald's-inspired building here. So we've got a burger and fries. So another interior. So you're not short for food and drink in this park. You really have focused a lot on the amenities in this park. Lots of food, lots of drink, staff rooms, toilets. We have City View. Which we won't go on, but we'll go to the very top and just have a look. Just have a look over there and then look at the city. Whilst we're here, can we just address the elephant in the room? Did anybody else see... That Frontier, on their Twitter account, had literally posted this and been like, this was created on the console. What? Yeah. I know Yan BK called them out on it, and it's like, really? Really? That's what they think of console players. They didn't even realise that it was what they created in the first place. It was a biome. Oh. Anyway. Is there anything inside here? Is this something in particular? No. Okay, just making sure. Right, so let's work our way over to the main attraction of the park, shall we? So, pa back past the water feature. Back up into e -Ecta, According to... I can't remember who it was who said it now. Oh, look at the waterfall. Love it! Right, so we have Gargoyle. That font, though. We go right first. Uh, what, down here, mate? Oh, Vex's Play Zone. So we have Energy Crisis, which is a, another flat ride over here. Hi, Anthony. Thank you ever so much for joining, buddy. So let's have a look in Vex's Play Zone. Oh, look! I want to go and play. Right, you know I'm going to play, don't you? Here we go. Forget the live stream. Matty's playing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't do very well there. Oh, it's Pac-Man. Let's go down Pac-Man. Into the ball pit. Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. That's incredible. And then another little bit over here. 
Yeah. Fantastic. Right. Have I missed anything, Mavs, before we go for the main ride? I don't think I have from looking over the top. I think we've covered everything. Certainly looks like it. Like the terraforming right there. Right, right. Right, right. The, oh, hang on, I missed that, sorry. Um, the restaurant. No, that's not. Right, right. What am I... What am I missing? Oh! Oh! Okay. So we have the energy... Energy source. Right, so there's a little ride inside here, look. That is very easily missable. Very easily missable. Oh, what is this? I feel like I need to go in at night. Right. What is this? Oh, it's a flat ride inside. Oh, that is cool. Very nicely themed. Yeah, very almost missed that. Thank you for telling me. If I'd been spotlighting it, I would have completely missed that. So I'm glad you told me. Oh my god. Right. Let's do it. Let's go on Gargoyle. That font is so good. So good. Ha I was going to say, that's a short queue line. But it goes all the way down there. Right, let's have a look at the stats. So we have a Typhoon Infinite. So that's a... Um, uh, the Coma. Is the Vekoma coaster? Uh, green across the board. The G Force is again really nice. Let's pause it there before that train disappears. Oh, thank you, Welfare. Speak to you later on, buddy. Oh, I see what you've done. He's done that trick, hasn't he? Where he makes it turn. Now, I don't know how he does that, but look at the car in the station. He's actually got it tilted. And I've never seen anybody else do that before. And I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. But there's some kind of like glitch where he's managed to kind of like get the cars tilted on the side in the station. And it's so good. I really must learn how he does that. And yes, Insomniac, we will have a look overhead. And hello, Stephen Thomas. I've seen you say my name a couple of times. Right, let's go for a ride. Let's go for another ride at night. But in track view this time. So, track view, front bumper. Let's go for a night POV as well. Because it was so good, I want to ride it twice. Thank you. 
I think it's safe to say that that is the ride of the park. I don't think anybody else is going to dispute that fact either, are they? That was absolutely sensational. What a ride. I love the G that's just there in the centre. And then there's an elevated shot. It's quite compact. It's a lot more compact than the Smiler is, isn't it? The Smiler takes up a bigger footprint than that. But yeah, great ride. I really enjoyed it. And let's just have a look at the night overhead shot. Yeah, fantastic. But there we go. There is Gulpy World. Let's just have a very quick look around at night. And then we will move on to our second park of the spotlight. Park Decor by Sausage Jet. I'm pretty sure I say that name differently every single time I ever say it, you know. One day I'm going to learn how to say it properly. Yep, yeah, great lighting throughout the park. Lit up really well. Really well. It's not overdone. Despite the fact of how many lights there are in the park, it's not overdone. Yeah, we'll just go with Sausage Jet. I can say that. But yeah, thoughts on the park as a whole? I loved it. I think it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, really enjoyable. The rides were sensational. Every single one of them. Gargoyle being the highlight. So much to do in this park with multitude of rides. The food courts. The flat rides. Dark rides. I think it was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed the whole thing from start to finish. Great layout. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Really nice job, both Tommy P for the rides and then Mavs fan for the theming. So yeah, great job. Really enjoyed it. So let's exit to the main menu and let's read the description for this next park, shall we? Right, so... So this is the third park that I've spotlighted by Sausage Jet, I think. It's either the third or the fourth. I can't actually remember, if I'm being honest. Uh, where are we? Where are we? There we go. Look at that shot. So park... Oh wow, that's a description and a half. So park decor, a European park situated next to a lake and surrounded by a dense forest. Its ride selection includes a 2018 Interman Drop Tower, 2015 Interman Family Launch Coaster, 2008 GCI Wooden Coaster, a 2003 Interman Mega and a 2000 Giavol Giavanola Invert. The park has lots of large rock piles. These are from all from construction and expansions to the park. Credit to Mavs fan for oh that's funny. <laughs> um we've just spotlighted. And Guitar Freak for the fonts and Iozian JX Tin for the ticket scan. Thank you to Molo04 for Serpent's name and that other guy. <laughs> that other guy that named Iron Rocket. I didn't manage to put shoutouts in the park, so I will include some here. Mr. Antonio, Yan BK, Iron Matty, Corvus, MJ Games, Dragonborn McQueen, Poops It Out, Planet Plip Cam, Welfare, NH99, Nerd Chat Show, Moomin, <coughs> excuse me, Moomin Little Socks, Scott Boogie, Night Owl, Tall Guy Gaming. So, wow, that was a description and a half. So, let's hop into this. I did the same thing last time. Uh, where are we? There we go. Wow, this chat is proper, like, kind of going off tonight. It's difficult keeping up with it all, you chatty bunch. Sausage Jet, how many spotlights have I done for you now? I can't remember. Is it three or four? I think this might be the fourth, potentially. So, this is a PlayStation 4 park. And one thing I'm noticing already is just the size of the car park. I'm not going to lie. I actually think the car park. Is almost the same size as the park. I think that's too many spaces. I would even possibly halve that you know. I would like do away. With this half. Completely. And how much percentage would that give you back. Because I know you've already used the glitch. Already. Is this all going to be one piece. 
Uh, it's all one piece, isn't it? So I can't really do it. Yeah, I think maybe just a little bit overzealous with the car park, just how big it is uh, for the size of the park. And especially with you being PlayStation 4, I would have maybe prioritised the park a little bit more. But I really need to know what is going on with this fish thing. I am clueless as to what is going on. I, I need to find out. I'm proper in the dark here. So we have a bar, a bark. <laughs> park decor. I love that font. So that's uh, Mavs fam font, isn't it? Going over the top. It's in the Discord. Okay, I'll have a look at that after. So we have the bus lane just to the side. Do you want me to keep it at this time of day, uh, Sausage? Or do you want me to change it? So we have the bus bay. And then that's the park entrance just through that building. Really nice hotel building. Yeah, really like that building. I like the trimming on it. Just with the differing uses. So you've got the black brick. You've got the white brick. And then you've got the... Whatever that is just going through the middle. Just there. Oh, it's the firehouse wall. I've got you. I've got you. Uh, Jamie, it's on the Discord. What it's actually going on. Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have a look at the Discord. When I've finished this uh, live stream. To find out what's going on. So we've got the entranceway here just for the parking. So yeah, a little bit of uh, shameless plugging. If you haven't already joined the Discord, if somebody wants to pop the link in and go and join the Discord server, and that's where you can request park spotlights. And if you haven't already, make sure to leave a like on the video, leave a subscribe if you are new, all that good stuff. Hi, Alan. The Discord is pure filth. Oh my days. I've been streaming for an hour. What have you done to my Discord? Love this entrance. Absolutely love this. I love the shape of it. And is this just using glass pieces? But then like kind of all different colours? Yes. So glass windows, but then all different colours. That's fantastic. Really modern. And let's come through. Oh, hey, Cap. When did you sneak in? I never saw you sneak into the chat. Oh, you've just joined the Discord. Oh, yay. Glad you've joined, Craig. I know that you joined for a lot of the premier, like the premieres and the live streams. And you're always commenting on the videos. So, yeah, it'd be lovely to have you in the Discord. Stop carping on about. Don't start with the fish puns again. Have you literally been sat this entire time thinking of another fish pun, Anthony? Because I'm sure we left the fish puns about half an hour ago. Have you just been sat trying to work? Up? He's been sat there googling, anti fish puns. I love these building styles. These are some of my favourite ones you've done yet, sausage. Can I check if the park's open? Um. Oh, it might not be, because everyone's leaving. No. There we go. <laughs> That's, that would explain why everybody's get, going out. Run away! <laughs> Are the rides open, then? Oh, come on! There we go. That, they are open. I thought they were closed for a second. I thought they were closed. So, right, let's hide that hood. Don't, I don't know what you're on a trout. Ah... <sighs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. We barely got into the park and already I'm loving this. Really enjoying it. The entrance paths are so efish and efficient. Hmm. You guys, honestly. <laughs> okay, that one actually made me laugh. We need to stop with the fish jokes. Salmon will get hurt. <laughs> no, to be for cod's sake. For cod's sake. 
So we've got a wooden coaster just to our left. Is that a... So that was the GCI. I'm going to stick with this time of day choice because I think it's a really nice lighting. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, look at this water feature. I mean, there's... There's the coaster here that most people will be like, Matty, look at the coaster. And then there's Matty. Water feature. Let's look at the water feature. Leave it to Salmon Al... Salmon Al... Oh, dear, 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 dear. So we have Mr. Wood. Somebody got wood? <laughs> right, let's have a look at this, shall we? Let's come down the queue path. Really like the rocks and the foliage just on either side. We've got some custom supporting here. The chat is starting to descend into chaos, guys. Right. Nice station. Lots of wood. Right, let's have a look at this then, shall we? So, Mr. Wood... A GCI, not green across the board, but it doesn't matter. The G-forces are really good. So let's go for a ride on this. There we go. Let's do front bumper. And first ride of the park. Let's do it. Enjoy, everyone. Okay, I have a confession to make. We might need to go for a second ride of that because I was absolutely desperate for the toilet. <laughs> so I didn't actually see any of that. I put it on and then I had to run to the toilet and I came back just as it was finishing. So let's go for a second ride, shall we? I hope you all enjoyed it because we're going for two rides just so I can see it because I can't really give feedback on it. So a nice sight line just as you get to the top. Yeah, really, really good coaster. Super smooth from start to finish. Some great banking. Really enjoyed it. Like the theming all the way around. IGN, not enough wood. Three out of ten. <laughs> it really is a small park, isn't it? Oh, I say a small park. It takes up the whole map. But most of it is trees. Right, so let's hide that hood. Swap camera mode and let's hop out the exit. Yeah, really enjoyable ride. Nice use of rock work and foliage all around here. And then we come straight to another ride. So we have a Serpent. So is that Mavs Famic Fun again? I believe it is. And this was a. Uh, I can't remember what it said in the description. Thought it was a BM suspended coaster. 
Oh, the Giovanola. That's the one. Thank you, Mr. Antonio. Too late, Jan. Mr. Antonio beat you to it. So what's the difference between a Giovanola and a B&M, then? Because you have B&M suspended coasters, which are quite similar, aren't they? Nice station build. Right. So we have a inverted two-seater. Uh, not green across the board. Really nice G-forces. Right. I can never decide which ones to go on. It's better than seat view, isn't it? Giovanola sounds like a footballer. Gio was Intamin and B&M before they split into separate companies. Oh, okay. Right, got you. So, right, let's go for another ride. Enjoy. Track view as requested. Can we just stop there a second and just look at that shot? Oh, that is so good. Right, anyway, back to the coaster. That was absolutely incredible. That was fantastic. I actually think that may be up there with Unobtainium as your best ride that you've done. Super smooth from all the way through. All the way through. I, I think one of the best, like... Um, Giovanola or like a ride of this type like B&M one of the smoothest ones I've been on was uh, the one from Molten Manor by Angry Emerald but I think that's right up there with it it's was so smooth all the way through the ride and yeah for me that was as good as an Obtanium was incredible really good theming all the way around I love the queue line I love the custom supports that are going around. Because this is all custom supported, is it not? Yeah. The entire ride. Custom supported. Hey, Dragon. Thank you ever so much for joining, buddy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're still going, right? Still going. But I love that. Absolutely loved it. I think that is most likely going to be the ride of the park. But we've still got a couple more to go on. We'll see. But you've set a high benchmark there. So, let's hop out the exit. We've got these planters all around here. I love the natural feel of this park. It feels really natural all the way through. You've got these coverings just using wooden beams. Got a clothes shop just inside here. Yeah, beautifully done. Shall we see if we can see the coaster? 
just come past as we're here. Man. Let's put him into plate cam. There we go. I mean, that's a great place to stand and watch the coaster, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Well, where's it gone? It comes back in a, mis in a minute, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. Here it comes. Yeah, amazing. Really enjoyed that. Right, so we have this drop tower here, which you did want me to ride, didn't you? You actually wanted me to go on this ride. Look at that covering that it's got. Hang on, wait there. I'm going to go on that. Right, let's come down the queue path. I love how it's kind of like just built into all the foliage. Wow. Um, does this have a certain seat that I need to go on? That ride. Just before we... Just before I press play on it. Wow. Just before I press play. I'll just see if you want to go in a certain seat. Not really. Okay. Cool. Wow. Whoa. Oh my Whoa. God. Whoa. Yeah, well worth going on that. Well worth going on that. I'm not reading that comment. <laughs> Oh, look, we've got the Union Jack. Oh, that's really nice. Rest in peace, Queen Elizabeth. That's really nice. I like that. Right, let's carry on around, shall we? I do really like these little coverings that you have. Holy dragons. Was that a marina you saw? It was indeed. It may be worth going back and watching that ride POV Insomniac because it was sensational. Incredible ride. Well, let's carry on coming around here, shall we? So we have a... I can't remember what that was. Hang on. I'll have a look in a second and try and remember what it was. The whole park feels so natural. It feels like they didn't have to... Like move much around hang on an intimate family launch because i would have got it you ruined it for me um it feels like they built a park but they didn't have to terraform too much or rip too many trees down it's like they worked around the area that were given to you were given to them so we have a intimate launch coaster here see i would have got it i would have got it because the launch so we have Surf. So nice font. Really nice theming around it. I love how that comes out of the station. Oh, that looks so good. I actually just want to watch it go around before we go on it. Turn your earphones down a bit then. <laughs> I mean, this looks silky smooth as well, doesn't it? Right, enough watching it. Let's go on it. So, 
Is it custom support as well? I'm not sure on that one. No, I don't believe it is. No. Right. No, it's not custom support. Look at the station. Really creative station. You actually walk underneath the launch. Or the station, should I say. Oh, thank you ever so much, Roy. Have a nice evening, mate. This is a fantastic station, Well, Really open, really natural. You can just see the coaster coming back around as you're stood here. Wow. So we have a Interman launch coaster of a Typhoon Infinite. It's not green across the board. The G-forces are really good. So are you wanting a track view again for this one? Sausage Jack has already placed in the top 10 parks of 2022 with Unobtainium. And judging from the rides in this park, I think it's safe to say he's most likely going to appear in the top 10 rides of 2023 as well. Because the rides in this park are such a high quality they truly are. They're all so smooth. They all offer something very different and unique. Now, I may have preemptively stated that the Giovanola was going to be the ride of the park. I'm not so sure, if I'm honest. I would say that's probably my favourite uh, vector launched. Certainly the bike one, this bike ride. Um... I would say that's probably my favourite one I've been on in a spotlight, if I'm honest. I think that was absolutely fantastic from the theming, the way it goes around the water, the actual layout itself, how smooth it was, the just everything. I think it was absolutely fantastic. Hello, Gamer Boy Caden. Thank you ever so much for joining. Please stop saying everything is top 10, mate. Well, you know me. Can't help it. I get overexcited. I get overexcited. It's not my fault. I can't help it. You know you tune in because I get too overexcited. I'm like a little kid at Christmas. Yeah, the bikes were supposed to be jet skis. Yeah, I kind of get that. Actually, Mr. Antonio, I kind of get that vibe from it as well. Well, let's carry on down here. So we've got one more coaster still to go on, I believe. A really nice enclosure. So it's a really wide open path. But it works because of the use of the foliage, then the rocks on the right, and then the planters. It's a shame that you did run out of percentage because you have got people walking through them. But obviously I, I know that you've already 
um, use the percentage glitch already. Look at that shot. Hang on, we're going back into clip cam again. So we can zoom in there. That is such a good shot. Wow. Amazing. So we've got a seating area here. And we come up to Iron Rocket. So is this the one that Jan BK named? Is it? The other guy. Let's have a walk down the queue path. What's that building over there? We'll have a look at that in a second. It looks really nice. Iron Rocket is your favourite. Wow, so... Jan's favourite was the interim that we'd just been on. This is Mr. Antonio's favourite. Oh, that glass building is the station. Okay. I'm going to cut the path. VIP coming through. Move out the way, peasants. Look at this station build. Wow. It's going to get a bit hot in the summer. Oh, it's open top. Okay, never mind. Right, so we have a, a Giga Invincible, so a Giga Launch Coaster. I absolutely love this station. Absolutely love the station. Right, wait there before you disappear off. Yeah, great job with that. So, green across the board, 7.64 excitement. Wow. Uh, G-Force is really nice as well. Are we going track view again? Um, sausage? I'll change it if needs be. I'll start it off and then tell me if I need to change it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. Unmute, Matty. Otherwise, people can't hear you. I'm, I'm sitting here chatting away, and then I looked at my pad, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm still muted. Um, hey, JZK, thank you ever so much for joining. Um, I think I can probably safely say that Sausage Jet, you are arguably now one of my favourite coaster creators on the PlayStation. I think that just like all the other rides in the park, was sensational. Absolutely sensational. How far you have come on as a coaster creator is insane. I remember the first... Was the first one that I spotlighted the one with Tommy CM? I can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head, I'm sorry, without specifically looking. Um, but just how far you've come since that park if memory serves me correctly thompson park that was the one if memory serves me correctly i praised you for the theming 
but I believe that I said you needed a little bit more work on the coasters, if memory serves me correctly. Um, I think maybe the G-forces were a little bit high. I think they needed a little bit of smoothing. How far you've come from that park to this park is insane. It's like a different, whole different creator. And you've just said that all this is custom supported. That's insane. Yeah, you are probably um, up there with amongst one of my favourite PlayStation coaster creators now. I think when you did Unobtainium, that really kind of like set the bar high for how far you'd come as a coaster creator. And then jumping over to this park, just incredible. Incredible. I, I generally don't know which is my favourite ride of the park because they were all so good. So let's have a quick flick through. Um, so we had the GCI. Yeah, I probably wouldn't say that was my favourite. It was good. I liked it, but not my favourite. Um, I don't know, that one, or that one, or that one, I don't know, I don't know, they're all so good, they're all so good, I genuinely don't know, I can't pick, I, I can't pick one, they're all, they're all amazing, all absolutely amazing, um, let's have a walk down here, I think that's pretty much the park guys, it's just the five coasters, so if we have a walk up this path, and that will bring us on an hour and a half long live stream, which is a perfect duration as well. Let's have a quick look down here. Have I missed anything, Sausage Jet, before I go saying goodbye? There's also night lighting. Ah, yes, of course, the night lighting. I'll have a look at that. Oh, what is this? Oh, we've got a little food court. Oh, and you can watch the ride go past from inside here. You know we've got to sit and wait for the ride to go past, don't you? It, it's going to have to happen. Right, let's get comfortable. Oh, there we go. There we went. Um, I missed anything, but I should go inside this restaurant. Oh, there you go. Beat you to it. Already beaten you to it. Yeah, that was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's have a look at the night lighting. Yeah, really nicely. Let all the coasters lit up differently as well. Let's have a quick walk around. What a park. I think this is my favourite park you've done yet. I would I would definitely say this is probably my favourite park you've done. I really, really enjoyed it. You've toned it down since... Yeah, yeah. I think you have toned it down. I think the night lighting is a lot better than it was in Green Acres. I think the coasters were a lot better than in Green Acres. Bearing in mind that I put Unobtainium in the top 10 parks. And I think the rides in this park were better than that. So, I think you've, t I think you've toned everything down, if I'm honest. I think, with the exception of the car park, I would say that is the only critique of this entire park is the car park. I think it was just too big. And I don't think, I think your park is such a high standard, but I think you can do away with the car park completely and it still be amazing. Uh, Terra Davidia is next. You've actually got another one. I didn't realize you got another one. Oh, bloody hell. Wow, okay. It feels like every time I've spotlighted one of your park sausage chat, you've got another one lined up straight away for me to do afterwards. But um, yeah, because you are, you've got two more. My God. Oh my God. Yeah, that would be my only piece of feedback for you. Don't worry about car parks. Don't worry about all road layouts or anything like that, with you being PlayStation 4, I'd steer away from them. If literally you came out of the park uh, spawning tunnel, straight into the park entrance, and there was nothing else, I wouldn't rate the park any lower because of it, because the interior is so good. Terry Davidia is the best thing you've, from you, are that, than the best thing from Sausage Jet you've seen. Well, that makes me excited to see that. It really does. But there we go, guys. There are today's two park spotlights. So we had Gulpy World by Mavs Fan 4 and 
Park Decor by Sausage Jet. Both fantastic parks. Really enjoyed looking at the both of them. It's been lovely having you all along tonight. So, so many people to, to thank for being in the chat. Too many to mention. But, yeah, great great having you all here. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to do a live stream every Wednesday from now on. With the idea being that I'm going to do two parks every week in a live stream. Um, we have Ratspit's incredible park tomorrow premiere so that comes at seven o'clock so i hope to see you all again tomorrow night two nights of matty sorry guys but we have the new intro new outro complete new image tomorrow you've still got me though i'm still here i'm still the same i'm afraid so there we go i will see you all tomorrow thank you ever so much everybody take care stay safe look after yourselves and i will see you all tomorrow night for a amazing ps4 premiere park bye everybody